If you gave your phone to your immature cousin who ended up picking a username like LowPunnyFan69 in Pokemon TCG Pocket, don't worry, there is a way to change it. And it only takes 10 seconds plus 30 days. Once that 30 day wait is up, choosing a new username is super simple. From the home screen, click on your profile icon, then tap your player name. At that point, all you have to do is delete the old name, type in the new one, and you're done. The official FAQ states that once you change your player name, it cannot be changed again for 30 days. Similarly, the player name you set when you first start the game cannot be changed for 30 days. Additionally, if a player name is found to be inappropriate, it may be changed and or your game usage may be restricted. This area of pocket is also where you can select your tagline when entering a battle. So if you like the Pokemon of a specific region, or if you're a beginner and you want people to go easy on you, you can tell the world. On top of that, you can view your battle record, which tells you how many wins you have, the biggest amount of damage you've dealt in a single attack, the max in pocket is 990, and how many total prize points you've claimed from a battle. Sliding down even further, you can add an emblem to your account that's shown off ahead of a battle. These are purchased in the shop for 100 emblem tickets each, and emblem tickets are earned in a few ways, including through dex missions. At least during the soft launch, only Pikachu, Mewtwo, and Charizard are available. You can also set your display board and view your achievements, which, among other things, tell you how many packs you've opened. I'm only at 122 packs after 30 days of playtime, so yeah, the rewards slow down massively after the first two days. Finally, you can change your player icon at the top of this page. Six are available by default, and you can gain more by completing theme collections. They aren't easy, though. If you want the Gardevoir, Charizard, or Mewtwo icons, you'll have to pull five of those cards. They're all three diamond rares, meaning it'll take a lot of time, a lot of luck, a lot of money, or a big PP. If you want to learn more about TCG Pocket, make sure to check out my starter guide playlist in the description.